cleaned up the Harry Horror Show and really when you think about it, it was a rather strange event for the former royal known as the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, to get involved with. What is it about exactly? And more importantly, why did Prince Harry decide, well, to get involved with this? A failing chat show host, Jimmy Fallon, ratings very poor indeed. And of course, suddenly he's now testing out a brand new ride ahead of, of course, Halloween. So what was the lure? Let me explain. Hi, good morning. Nice to see you or whatever you're doing. Good evening, should I say. I forget that, don't I, sometimes? I know many of you are going to bed. Many of you are getting up, whatever you're doing. If you're just relaxing, of course, nothing wrong with that, is there? It's nice to have a sit down and just close your eyes for 40 winks. Do you ever do that during the day? If the terrible thing is now it's not 40, is it? It's like half an hour. You wake up and wonder where you are. It's terrible, isn't it, when you're in the tube or the bus? <laughs> you just think, who are you people? Why am I sat here? Where am I going? <laughs> you know? It's terrible though, isn't it, when you think, because now any chance to get a sort of quick, uh, sort of, you know, 40 weeks as they call it, you know, you kind of think, oh, I just, I just close my eyes a minute, you know. Not now. No, there's no, you can't do it now. We haven't started yet. In a minute. Give me a couple of minutes and then you can have 40 winks. We got a deal? We got a deal. Let's get back to your royal story of the day. Yeah, this kind of shocked a lot of people, didn't it, when you think about it. Prince Harry, there he is, rocking up at a sort of Halloween event, a ride and experience. I don't know about you, I went on something very similar. I think the Hollywood Tower uh, in Florida, I think it was, for Disney or Universal or something like that. And, you know, they're great fun and they give a lot of work for actors if you like that. Personally, I'm at an age now where I don't want any shocks, you know what I'm saying? Because you just, well, it's a shock going shopping at the prices, isn't it? But aside from that, you know, you just don't know that, that worry on your heart, do you? you think, no, I don't need that. But um, he did really disgrace himself, it has to be said, swearing on camera. And I don't really know what the idea was about, but I actually do in some respects, because a source who was working on the program told me that they paid Prince Harry a colossal amount of money to pop up. Now you might say, well, why did Harry decide to go down this Harry horror route, you know? Well, it's quite simple, really. He's got to plug the book. This was a kind of fun way. This is the paperback edition. And this could be said, of course, as the promotion. That's what he's done. He's portrayed himself in a fun light, going through an experience with a chat show that's not doing particularly well right now in the late night ratings. So let's hook him up. He's already done Stephen Colbert. That wasn't a success. And Colbert, CBS are really struggling financially. So they don't have all the books to shell out. Suddenly, the Jimmy Fallon show found these books because it's his particular experience. But you see, Harry's had a very good time in New York. People forget this, that when you're invited to speak at events, the big events that Harry likes to waffle on about, normally there's a fee attached, expenses, hotel bills, everything is picked up for you. Again, we have to say allegedly. And you see, the other side of the coin is that can be very lucrative because not only do the papers get it for free, the digital platforms, the media, they splash it around. So your message is out there, your speech is out there, you're getting paid, you're getting your flight, your stay, whatever, at zero cost to you. All the while, of course, you're warning us about the dangers of social media. Where are we reading this? On social media. So it's sort of counterproductive. But back to the Harry Horror Show. Was it successful? Well, a lot of people over here were rather disappointed by the fact that Harry let out so many expletives and apparently in the final edit there was a lot more even worse. Apparently he's trying to get down with the kids and connect with the Gen Z, Gen Z brigade. Somebody needs to remind Harry you've hit 40 and it's a one-way ticket now down to the other side, whichever way you look at it. And that, of course, is the big horror that they will find when they finally come to pain. That huge and hefty invoice from Prince Harry to see fact, has anybody bothered to stay with the show? It's going to be interesting or indeed a frightening nightmare. Either way, quids in for the former royal. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.